people talk about um, Dr. Rudine Sims Bishop's uh, work, and she talks about books being windows and mirrors and um, sliding doors, you know, for children to be able to not just see themselves, but, you know, to see their peers and the world around them. What I am very conscious of is whoever is the subject, whether that's in my fiction work, like At the Mountain's Base, which is a 111 word poem about a family waiting for their family member who's a a female pilot in battle to come home or um, nonfiction, you know, like the Mary Golda Ross biography classified or we are grateful, we are still here. I'm looking to center who is depicted in that story and making sure that I am providing as authentic a representation as I know how to. And that's not just me as the person, that's also consulting with other people and other sources. And so, um, you know, as I'm always saying, bookmaking is a team sport. And so I am one person in the team. I am not the leader of the team. I'm, I'm literally one person. And a lot of times I feel like I'm the information gatherer, the fact rather. So I'm going to kind of put things together and organize it, but um, then other people are going to take parts of it and, and run with it. So that's um, how I approach, you know, creating a book is that um, if that book is about Cherokee people, then I want whoever opens that up to feel like they have been, um, they, they see themselves knowing that we all have different, you know, experiences and things, but there are a lot, there are commonalities, right? But my hope is that there is also um, universality in what I'm talking about. And so that others will be able to um, not just learn something about, you know, person or experience or event that they may not know about, but they are also able to tie that to their own lives. And so I think about India No More, that uh, my late friend, Charlene Willing McManus wrote, and I finished and got uh, published. You know, that book is looking at a young child who is forced to move in the late fifties from her tribe's reservation in Northwest, what is now Northwest Oregon to Los Angeles. Majority of children in this country, because we're such a mobile society, have had experience with moving, even if it's just in the same town, right? (laughs) But they may have ended up at a different school. You know, somehow their life has been disrupted. And um, many children, you know, especially once you start socializing outside of your house, have experiences with meeting other people who don't do the same thing as you or things that you don't even know are cultural practices that you have other people may think very different things or have received very different messages about the things that your family does. And so then you start hearing that feedback and it's wild, (laughs) you know, as a child to think like, what, where did you get that? You know, 